Hey, happy anniversary. <laughs> this is the anniversary show. I have just now started the very beginning of my 100th episode of Casting Actors Cast. I can't believe it. So come on, celebrate this with me, will you? It's going to be fun. This is Casting Actors Cast. Welcome to Casting Actors Cast. It's the podcast for actors in the business of show with casting director Jeffrey Dreisbach. Visit us at castingactorscast.com for more information. Please remember to subscribe and like Casting Actors Cast. Here is your host, Jeffrey Dreisbach. Well, hello and welcome to this episode of Casting Actors Cast. Yay! Cheers! woo I'm really excited. This is the 100th episode of Casting Actors Cast. Never did I believe 100 episodes ago that this would turn out the way it's turned out. It's been such an exciting journey, and I'm so excited that you're here to share that with me. So we're going to talk about some of the past episodes, but more importantly than the past, we're going to talk about the future, what looks bright on the horizon for this Patio, this podcast video called Casting Actors Cast. But this is that moment in the podcast, as you know, if you're a regular listener, that I just want to say thank you. Uh, a sincere thanks. I am so excited that this podcast has grown in size. Now, I know we talk, I talk numbers all the time and I, maybe that's sort of self-indulgent. So please forgive me, but I, we're over 21,000, maybe 22,000 downloads of Casting Actors Cast. It's just like mind boggling. Now, I know in the world of podcasts, people are downloading, you know, into the millions and stuff like that. I, I'm not there to compete for that. I'm simply here to try and provide a service, information and insights from a casting director to the talent that's out there. And I couldn't be more elated that I've gotten so many positive responses from folks over these past 100 episodes. I've gotten all kinds of questions. And you know what? I, I feel like I'm just, in a way, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface to the information that's out there that you might be interested in. And that's my whole motivation for doing any of this is providing that information. I will tell you that the new website has been up and running and looking really great. Casting Actors Cast, all one word, dot com. And you can see uh, all of the podcast providers that are there and links to those podcast providers. But in addition to that, you can get a 100 page book absolutely free of charge by clicking the form called Dive into the Talent Pool. By the way, there's also some additional downloadable PDFs of worksheets that correspond to past episodes of Casting Actors Cast. So I encourage you to do that. There's a place that's called Calendar and Workshops. And that means that you can literally go and see where I'm going to be. Uh, the various universities, I'm going to be traveling out to University of Indiana. I'm going to be going to University of Missouri, Kansas City. I just came back from Shenandoah University. Um, this is also a huge season for universities coming into New York and doing their showcases. So in that calendar, I've listed the showcases I'll be attending. Also, I've listed the episodes of Casting Actors Cast. So if you want to know the names of the episodes, or the title of the episodes that are coming up, you can go to that calendar as well. By the way, if you go into the calendar section of the website and take a look, it's an imported um, Google calendar. But if you click on any of those events and there is a link in that event, that means that's something that you can sign up for. It can be a class or a workshop that I'm actually participating in. And so you will, t you're taken to another website where these particular events are. And that's something that you can check out as well. So it'd be great to meet you in person. And I would love to have your participation. So consider doing that. Finally, the uh, email address, castingactorscast at gmail.com is a place that you can get a hold of me directly. I would love, love, love to hear from you. If you have any questions that you would like to have answered on the air, if I can be of any help to you at all in terms of the career, of you being an actor, of participating in the business, I would love to hear your questions because I will do my absolute best to get you the answers. So that's, I guess, all the housekeeping I need to do today. But let's jump into the anniversary show. Again, my, my sincere thanks. So I get the question all the time, why did you even start a podcast in the first place? Well, you know, it's true. I f I'm, I'm, I'm really busy. 
The Corkle Casting has been in business, and we've had the offices on 575 8th Avenue for, gosh, oh, 18 plus years now. Although I've been casting for 10 with Pat, Pat has had the company for 30 plus years. And it's just been a really cool journey, and we're incredibly busy all the time. Not only do we do a film and television projects, we've got five feature films that we're working on right now. But in addition to that, <laughs> we do a lot of regional theaters as well. And so we're gearing up now for regional theater seasons. We're doing Barrington Stage Company. Uh, we're doing Contemporary American Theater Festival, as well as our other clients like St. Louis Repertory Theater, the Guthrie. We do a lot of work with Pittsburgh, uh, with Seattle Repertory Theater. So there's just a lot of work coming in. And, you know, I get accused of kind of stretching myself too thin sometimes. But you know what? I don't feel that way. I love doing the casting work. It's been really, really cool because no two days are alike when you're a casting director. You know, it's not like I show up at the office and count beans and then go home. It's like part of my life all the time. But the reason that I wanted to start this podcast had to do with how I got this fire ignited in me. And I know that sounds a little weird and pretentious, maybe, but I just love teaching. And I love going to workshops and classes and sharing my journey and my experience with newcomers to the business, because I just feel like that's a helpful and cool thing to do. And so I've been doing that for, for quite a while. But what's ironic is that I keep on getting the same questions over and over and over again, like, how do I get an agent? What's the best kind of picture to get? How do I know what my brand is? And all of those kinds of questions happen all of the time. What's the best way to stay in touch with a casting director? And so those are questions that I've gotten all the time. And I thought, you know what? This podcast thing, this podcast seemed to be really, really popular. And I love listening to podcasts. I listen to all of those podcasts on the technical stuff or on business or, you know, whatever. And I thought, gosh, you know what? There's not really a podcast directly aimed at helping actors directly. Now, there's some great podcasts out there for actors talking about their journey and what they're dealing with and going through. And that's great. But there hasn't been really a, a podcast that talks directly to the actor about what to do, what not to do how to feel more confident about your work. And that's where I really wanted to, to shine. That's where I really wanted to start doing this podcast. So I, it's been really very, very cool, especially when people come up to me that I don't even know and say, you know what, you've ha helped me a lot. One other quick little funny story, I mean, I think it's kind of funny, is that I was doing a large session, large auditions uh, directed by Andre DeShields, um, Andre DeShields is on Broadway now. He won the Tony Award for Best Supporting Actor this year. So I'm working with Andre, and then there's the choreographer, and then there's uh, the assistants, and there's this huge room full of people. And this one actor came in, and he auditions for Andre, and he was looking at me, and then he was kind of, then he did his audition, and he looked at me again, and then <laughs> as he's walking out of the audition, when the audition was over, he just kind of yelled out into the universe, casting actors cast. <laughs> and people were like, I, that, that was weird. What was that about? And, and I kind of just I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to go, oh, well, you know, that's my uh, podcast. And uh, he apparently is a fan. I didn't want to do that. But the actor really wanted to acknowledge that he knew who I was. And I thought, God, that was so cool. Um, that was so such a nice moment. Uh, I, I won't forget it. It was really, really great. So as we look back to the past episodes, there are some that stand out for, for different reasons for me. And I'd like to just share three episodes. And I invite you to please go back into the archives. You can go on the website or you can go. I'm, I'm hosted by Podbean, uh, Casting Actors Cast at Podbean. So if you want to go there, you can do that. Or any of the podcast providers will have previous episodes. But if you go back into the archives, there are just three that stand out for me in this past 100 episodes that I would love for you to listen again, if you have listened, if you've been a regular listener. But if you haven't been a regular listener, if you're, reg if you're kind of new to the podcast thing, Casting Actors Cast, then go back to some of these episodes because I think you'll find them fun. I think you'll find them useful. I think you'll find them fun because 
I'm really early on in my podcasting, so my skill set isn't like as developed as it might be now, even though I make all kinds of mistakes all the time. But if you go back into the early, you'll see the early uh, origins of the podcast. I'm kind of in a different headspace kind of thing, but it's still useful information, I think. And the first one I want to have you give a listen if you have a chance to, and that is the very, very first episode. It's entitled, What Does a Casting Director Do? And it was sort of the very first time I decided to do a podcast, and it really was to answer that question because a lot of newcomers to the business don't really quite understand what a casting director does. There are still actors who confuse agents and casting director. And I clarify that in that very, very first episode, but you can hear me kind of um, struggle <laughs> my way through the answers about what a casting director does and sort of an introductory episode to Casting Actors Cast. So that very first episode is something I would love for you to listen and comment on if you feel so inclined. That would be great. The other um, episode that I would love for you to listen to, because I think I did it early on in the podcast universe. And I think that it has not gotten the kind of attention I believe it should because it is so helpful. It's called Music Method Manipulation. Music Method Manipulation. And it's all about how music can influence the way you interpret material. So if you are playing a light classical piece of music, how does that influence your audition? And I talked about as an actor, when I went into auditions, I found out that if I was just listening to particular music that was appropriate to the energy of that audition, that my auditions were just so much more interesting than anybody else's. My auditions had a, a different take. You know, you always hear in an audition, you always hear you have to take a point of view. So... Very few people knew that I was listening to music and that helped influence the way I interpreted a given scene. So it's kind of a weird thing, but uh, man, oh man, I think that this is worth listening to. I even, as I recall, I've, I even throw in some music examples for you to listen to. And then um, you can kind of make up your own uh, decision about what kind of scripting would work for that particular piece of music. So it's a really good episode, I think. And I think it has gotten overlooked a little bit because it was so early on. And we're up to so many downloads now, and so many people are are listening on a weekly basis. Please go back and listen to that episode, Music Method Manipulation. And then the third one I wanted to talk about in the past, which is just because I had a lot of fun with it, and the response was really great, so thank you for that, was called The Actor's Nightmare. And I talked about... You know, every actor has their own sort of nightmarish dream scenario. And so I did some research and I really talked about the various typical actor nightmares that are out there. And it's just because it was a fun episode for me to put together and fun to talk about. It really, I think, you will find that maybe entertaining and maybe you can identify with it because maybe you've had your own nightmares. And so this really could be something that's kind of fun for you just to kind of reflect on and uh, listen to. And I kind of just am a little bit partial to that particular episode. So it's important that you let me know what your favorite episodes are. I really depend on you letting me know how to drive this podcast. So I might be the engine, but you know what? You're the gas. <laughs> I didn't mean that mean. <laughs> but you literally drive the episodes of Casting Actors Cast by giving me some feedback, by giving me some likes, um, some reviews. If you share this with others, I couldn't be more grateful. If you found something interesting or useful, please, please, please do me a favor. Or just let me know. Either go to the website or go to castingactorscast at gmail.com and let me know. So those are some of the few past episodes that I just kind of remember that stand out to me as perhaps being really useful and fun at the same time. Now, I don't want to spend too much time in the past. I love doing these podcasts, and I'm going to continue to do them. But instead of looking back, I want to look to the future. And I want to look to what are the, the future ideas that I've been contemplating, implementing, implementing, that's a good word, implementing on the show. Ideas that I've found kind of bubbling up underneath 
could be really, really interesting. And so I'm going to share some of these thoughts or some of these ideas with you and let me know what you think about some of these ideas for the future of Casting Actors Cast. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to continue to answer all of the questions that I get. That's really valuable to me. The more questions I get from you, the more it helps drive the show and it gives me an idea about which direction to continue in. Of course, I was also thinking about, you know, I do a lot of teaching and I love to teach. And so if I actually brought in a recorder to, to record some questions and answers from actors and then played some of those questions and answers back in a live environment, I'm wondering if you think that would be helpful to you. It's one thing for me just to read somebody's question, but it's another thing to hear it coming from another actor and to hear the exchange between myself and to an actor when I respond to some of these questions. So that's something I'm also trying to think of. But, you know, I'd have to get their permission to record. And, you know, there's a lot of editing involved. And, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not afraid of hard work. <laughs> I'm really not. But I don't know if that's going to really serve any more purpose than what we're already doing. Of course, I want to continue to upgrade all of the technical elements of the show. I'm thinking about, of course, I'd love to have a better camera. I'd love to have better microphone. I'd love to, you know, make it more as professional looking as I can. I talk about being in the profession, but full disclosure, I'm a one man band here. I do the videotape editing. I was videotape. Why did I even say that? There's no video involved. I do the camera work. I do the writing. I do the editing. I do the software, I do the posting, I do the website. I mean, I'm kind of exhausted doing this. And I don't mind doing it, but there's not like a whole crew of people. <laughs> I wish there were. And I really would like to improve all of those elements in order to bring you the best possible information in the easiest uh, absorbable way possible. So that's something to look forward to. As we continue to grow, as I hope we do, I can't wait to try out some of the new technology I know that's out there. Another thought I had is I'm wondering if it would be beneficial to have a private Facebook community strictly for casting actors, cast actors. So for those of you that are regular listeners that really like what's going on in casting actors, cast, would there be value in having just a group of Facebook casting actors, cast actors, communicating with each other. I certainly would be happy to participate in audition questions or talk to you about what's taking place in the industry or, you know, some of the more inside information that you might be seeking. Would that be of value? I need to hear from you if you think that's worth the effort, because I'd be happy to facilitate that and put that together. Perhaps there's a fan out there, maybe somebody who's really been enjoying the shows that would want to write to me and maybe you want to take something like that on. I would love some additional help with the show. So that might be something that I'm just putting the, the, the seed, just planting the seed. So if there is that kind of person out there that thinks that they would like to participate with working on the show, then let me know. I'm happy to talk to you about that. There's also an opportunity, I think, to do some live streaming of the show. If we had a live event, would that be something you would be interested in? Because I think, you know, having live questions coming in from all over the world, speaking of all over the world, you know, thank you, Indonesia. Uh, thank you, Australia. Thank you, Belgium. Thank you, Netherlands. Uh, thank you, Great Britain. These are people from all over the world that I'm getting responses from, uh, listeners and people who are participating in Casting Actors Cast. So that's just, again, blows my mind. It's kind of cool. So doing a live stream or a group chat, that might be a really neat way of facilitating bringing all of us together even more than we are as a community. Uh, after all, the whole goal is to take all of the mystery out of this profession and to really make it more accessible for actors who are interested in growing their career. And that's why I'm doing this. Also, I'm thinking of adding a what I call a resource website page. And that resource website page would be a page on the website, obviously, but that would be resources that I've talked about. In my last episode, for example, I, I realized that I did all of this on apps for actors, but I didn't include any links or any of that stuff. Again, I'm not trying to 
to beg off hard work, but it's just almost nearly impossible because of the time constraints for me to do that additional posting. But if I had a resource web page where, as I talked about things, I could put them on that web page, would that be of interest to you? Would that be something that you might take advantage of? I'll only do it and be happy to do it if there is that kind of interest, but it really is going to take you having that kind of interest. Now, in addition to that, something in the future that I'm looking forward to is I've been approached by some sponsors, but I have to tell you, I've been reluctant to say yes to sponsorship for the show, but I did add a, a press and sponsorship page on the website, and the reason is I would love to have the ability to increase the technology and improve, and I also am giving donations to Actors' Equity Association, Equity Fights AIDS. I, I really want to continue to do that as well. My hope is that if I do get a sponsor, that it's going to be a sponsor that you would respond to. In other words, I don't want to take up your time by trying to sell, you know, timeshares or uh, sofas or mattresses or other websites. Um, I'm, that's not kind of where I'd like to take this. But there may be some really interesting sponsorships out there that I'm entertaining, and I would love to know if that's something that would be a turnoff for you, or would it be helpful? Would you not mind having a sponsor increase the quality of the show, but also help me achieve that? Would it be helpful to you if it was a sponsor that would be of products and services that you find valuable? Because that's the only way I would take on the sponsorship requests that I have been receiving lately. And it hasn't been a lot. I mean, it hasn't been like I've been overwhelmed with, you know, I'd love to sponsor your show. But there have been some, and I am kind of considering it. But I, the last thing I would want to do is alienate anybody because I brought in a sponsor, you know, to do a live read of a 30-second spot or something like that. So please let me know that. That's my anniversary show. We've talked about the future. We've talked about the past. What's on your mind? That's the most important thing to me. I really appreciate you joining me on this very, very special podcast today. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach, and this is Casting Actors Cast. Casting Actors Cast is made possible with your support just by listening. Please like, share, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Caitlin Clark. <laughs>